Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to make today. It's a little vase that's decorated up. It's got a little base down here on it, and then we've got rolled roses in it. These are my favorite flowers because I can't kill them. I usually kill the live ones, so I like the artificial ones. And I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, the rolled roses, I cut these out of my... Cricut and I'll put that link below where I found this file but if you want to just cut them out of a circle you can it it'll be the same thing these are just a little bit scalloped on the edge no difference so you're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is 11 by 11 and you're going to score at 4 and at 7 then you're going to turn it and you're going to score at 4 and at seven again. So that is all the scoring you're going to have to do. Go ahead and fold and burnish your score lines. You're going to cut up on these score lines and just you can choose either end, either side, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it's the same ones. So cut up on those to that score line there. Turn it all the way around and then cut up on these. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to these four corners right here and you want to cut away everything but about an inch so this cut away and then over here you're going to cut away just leave about an inch tab that's what we're going to glue by right there flip it around to the other end and do the same thing you don't have to measure it just leave you a nice tab to glue by and then of course you've got some good paper here that you can do some punching with flowers different things so that's what you're going to have right there, and we're going to fold that up just like that and glue it, and that's going to be our little pot. Now you can go ahead and look at everything right now and see if you need to trim a little off. See I've got a couple here that are a little bit over, so I'm going to trim them off. Sometimes my paper is not an exact 12 by 12. Now before we glue these together, we've got some chipboard to put in here so that this will be nice and strong. And I'm going to use those scrap pieces to cover my chipboard. I've got a white one here, so I may just leave that. I'm just going to leave that one in the bottom like that, but all of them don't have a white base on them, so the rest of them, I'm just going to use those scrap pieces that I cut off to cover my chipboard. Then you just want to cover all of them and then trim them down and you're ready to put your chipboard in. Okay, all of our chipboard is covered and now we're going to put these down before we glue everything together. So this one on the bottom is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. The rest of these are two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. I'm gonna put my two pieces of chipboard on the sides that have the little flaps, and then we're gonna put it together, and then we'll put the other two pieces of chipboard in. That way it'll just cover up the seam and help hold everything together. So just make sure that you get it in between the score lines. Don't go over. There you go. You don't want it coming up above the sides. Now we're going to glue this together just like that. And then we'll put our other pieces in there. And I'm just using my art glitter glue. You can use score tape or some other adhesive that you have. But this is going to hold it, so I'm going to use this. So just match up your corners. Make sure that they're nice and even. 
and then use your bone folder again. There we go. Got those nice corners. Then we're going to glue these two up, and then we'll put our other two pieces of chipboard in there. All right, now we can put these two pieces in, and you're going to dry fit them, and as you can see, mine are going to need to be trimmed just a little bit. So you may have to trim them off a little bit, and that's fine. Okay, and then you just want to slide it down in there, make sure that it doesn't come over the top. So that one looks good. Let's go ahead and try to dry fit this one while we're at it. Just going to have to trim it off a little bit. That will work, so we will put some glue on these and glue those down in there. So there's your chipboard in there, and you have a nice sturdy uh, vase. And now we're going to cut something to go over the top right here to cover that chipboard up. So I cut three pieces of the gold paper. This is a, like a gold foil paper. And we're going to use that for the cap at the top, but first we want to put down our matte paper. These mats are cut at two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And I'll show you the paper pack that this comes out of in just a minute. I've had it for a while. And if I can find it anywhere, I'll link it below. That's the same with all the product. If we don't have it in the store where I can link it, I will try to find it somewhere else and link it for you. I think this paper is really pretty. It's single-sided, but that's okay. And you don't have to wonder which side you're going to use. There you go. And it doesn't matter which side you go to. You've got a nice edge there. And then we're going to put these over. We're going to cap these over the top. But again, dry fit these and make sure that they're going to fit. I have to trim mine down just a little bit. That one, I'm just going to dry fit them all and then I'll go back and glue them down. Okay, we can put our glue on these and then glue them in place. And you just want to lay them over and press them down. So there are the top pieces on. We've got a little bit of gold around that. And now we're going to cover this piece. And this is going to be the bottom piece. For these little pieces around the top, I cut them at 1 inch by 3 inches. And then I scored in the center. And then I trimmed off if I needed to. This piece is cut at 4 by 4. This that we're going to cover it with is cut at 6 by 6. And all I'm going to do is put it down the center. Then we're going to use our scoring tool and go around the edges just like we do on everything that we make like this. Go ahead and break down those fibers just a little bit. And then you can trim the corners. Then you can go ahead and put glue on here, press these over, and glue them down. Now we're going to take this piece, and this piece is three by three, and we're going to glue it right in the center. Now I have four of these beads, and I they're flat back. I have no clue. I think you call this kind of an amber maybe. We're going to put these on the bottom. 
in the corners. There you go. Got that. And then that's going to sit just like that. But we are going to go ahead and put a row of these beads on here just to kind of help decorate the top of it and then cover up these edges. So we're going to do this. I'm going to start right here. Just run a little bead all the way down. And these are just some flat back pearls out of my stash. I need to get more of these. I love them. So just run it down through there. Keeping it pretty straight. Straight as you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Go. Got that. Isn't that cute? I think that helps the looks of it a lot. Now I'm going to take a piece of this styrofoam. We're going to glue it down on the bottom. then I have made just some rolled roses and we're going to stick those down in there and I'm probably going to have to cut off stems and that's fine. So we're going to go around sticking these all in there in all different directions and heights and then we'll come back and finish this up. I have all my flowers and leaves and everything glued in there. And there is the full bouquet. These are the kind that don't die. This is the kind I like. And now we're going to glue it down to our base. And I'm going to have to use hot glue on this just because this base is made out of that uh, foil paper and I don't know if anything else is going to stick well enough. So we're just going to put some hot glue on there and hopefully we will get it centered up the first time. That looks pretty good. There we go. We've got the base on there. And now I have this little cutout that says where flowers bloom so does hope. And I'm going to put that right here on the front. And I put it up on some pop dots. And you could put happy birthday. Just about anything on here. Okay, I put it off to the side just a little bit like that. And then I'm going to put this little flower right up there at the top. Maybe right at the bottom. There we go. That little flower right there. And I think I might run another strand of these beads down here at the bottom to just kind of join everything together. So let's see if we can get that done. Just going to put my hot glue down there.
So there we go. We have our little beads down there at the bottom. I'll let you see that up close. All right, and I think that's all we're going to do to it. I think that is cute just like it is. Of course, you can always go back and adjust your flowers. If you think some are a little bit too high and some are a little bit too low, you can go back and adjust them. But I think that is cute. All right, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos. Make sure that you click that little bell so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.